Okay, Alright, so first, I just wanted to ask a little bit about your family in general. Have you always lived in Indianapolis? Yes. You were all born right. Yeah. And so, if we could shift for a second, you were talking about what the city was like as a kid. Could you tell me what Gary was like when you were growing up as children? I noticed you smiled when you said that. Gary was like the Growing up in the house was very, it was fun. Mm -hmm. It's like my mother had six kids. Six. She had two boys, her oldest boys. Mm -hmm. Gary was the oldest. Then it was little Ricky. Then she had two twins. Then it's me. This is my baby, our baby sister, Tiana. Mm -hmm. But we was always protected of our baby girl. Rick, my, uh, the one underneath him, little Ricky, I always stayed over his grandfather's house. He used to go over every weekend. But other than that, <laughs> we used to walk to we used to walk to the store. Mama sent him to the store. Mm -hmm. little. We like, come on. He's like, uh, come on, we going this way. We like, nah, them dogs back there. He used to always want to take us somewhere around where where we he knew we were scared of dogs. So we we'll go, we'll be like, okay, hold on, hold on. Then uh he'd be like, okay, y'all go ahead in there and get mama stuff and see what she uh get everything she wants. I'm like, we she said too. He would never go <laughs> in that store with them food stamps. I, my, he would not go in no store with them food stamps. He, I don't care, he'll go, if he's going by himself, he'll tell mom they had Or the store was closed. We used to always crack us laughing. And then, uh, <laughs> we'd be like, man, why you just want to go in the store with the food stamps? And then my mom used to leave him, oh, my mom used to go to work. And we used to be at home. And him, my cousins, and uh, his couple friends, mm -hmm. they used to lock us up in the room. Like, lock us in the rooms. Like, wow. we can't go nowhere. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, we had fun coming up. We, <laughs> yo, man, I'll be like, okay, we're going to get you back. I'm going to get you back. So <laughs> one time he was asleep, I was looking, I was looking, I don't know what made me do it. You know, I had some, I'm like, I know pepper, they be like, uh, pepper make you sleep. So oh, when yeah. he was asleep, I put some pepper <laughs> up his nose and uh, he started sleeping. He said, I'm going to get you a double. Well, other than that, we had fun growing up. When we, when, we, uh, <laughs> when we were going to school, he said, make sure our clothes were fine. Mm -hmm. He made sure we had everything we need. You know what I mean? He was a big brother. Wow. You know what I mean? A big brother. And, and to this day, when he left here, he was a big brother. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hey, yes, he did. He did his little crime in, in the street. Yes, he sure. did. But he changed a whole lot. Mm -hmm. To know him, you, I'm telling you, you just, you just got to know him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. At, at the time, you know, he, he has the attitude. But mm -hmm. also, you, you had to do something to him. He mm -hmm. just ain't just gonna walk up to you and just yeah. do something to you. You have to do something to him. Yeah. Other than that, <laughs> other than that, we had a we had a good relationship. You know what I mean? We, we all all we all of us. And then uh, he'll come up. He'd be like, uh, "What's what, this and that?" He just talk to us. He sit down, talk to us, tell us what's going on yeah. in society. Being a big brother, like a brother's supposed to uh, have, he'll tell us this is right, this is wrong. You know what I mean? He, he taught us. He, when my mama wasn't there, or my father wasn't there, he was there, and that's what we had to obey and look up to. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Even though we didn't want to, he was. Oh my God, straight. It was straight. Yeah. <laughs>
He was straight. I say, I was like, uh uh-uh, uh, I can't stay for two weeks. He like, you don't got, he told me I don't got no other choice. I said, um, I locked myself in the bathroom one time because I ain't want to come out. He like, uh, he, he had a, he, when he got through cleaning up the house, we call ourselves, want to go, go and mix up some flour, water, me and my sister, make, make a big old mess. When I say he made us clean all of it up and put us in the corner for a long time, I was like, uh-uh. No, 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 no. I kept on coming out the court. He's like, uh-uh, you can't do that. But other than that, growing up with him, mm-hmm. up in the house, he taught us how to ride a bike. Mm-hmm. When my when my father uh, was gone to make, uh, to do uh, construction or mow some grass, he taught us how to ride ride a bike. He told us how to tie up our shoes. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He he told us taught, taught us how to earn, how to put a crease in your pants, how mm-hmm. you line your pants up. It, man, it, he just man, it it just is it so much that it, it's a lot. Yeah. He told me, taught us don't never let don't let never let nobody bully. Mm-hmm. And he he told don't never let nobody bully. And then what he he always said when a person hit you, you always go and tell tell the teacher. Some of them always say. And then when we got in, in middle school, we were like, nah, we in middle school. Why we gonna go tell the teacher? Everybody like go. He's like, you gotta still tell the teacher. That teacher don't do nothing, that's when you do what you do. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'll be like, huh? So you just want somebody, he's like, nah, Missy, it's just, because they call me Missy. Uh-huh. He, and then he called, he, he had always had a name for each one of us. Mm-hmm. He had a unique name. And as we was growing up, his, like, me and his bond was, Different from from any other sibling, uh, and then okay. it'd be like like him and my brother bond. Yeah. They had a bond, and you'd be like, "What the heck? Huh? <laughs> what?" Then him and my sister, them you know, the twins, they had a mm-hmm. bond. Like each one of us had our own unique bond with. Them. You know what I mean? Like, can nobody understand our mm-hmm. mind? So then, when, as we got grown, he started like our cousins now. It was he started doing it with them, different type of bonds. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then we be like, and then I be like, man, nah, uh, uh-uh, uh, uh-uh. I be getting mad. He's like, why are you getting mad for? It? You my you my baby sister. Why you get mad for? Yeah. I'd be like, nah. Why are you doing that? And he'd be like, Missy, my bond with you is my bond with you, and that's how we connect. But my bond with this person is my bond with this person. That's how we connect. I never understood that. Um, to love you. What's yep. it mean to you now? Uh, what it mean to me now? You said you never understood. I never understood. Like, it's like, it's like, I don't got bond with my, my three sisters. Mm, not in the way you have with him. Not in the way like I have with my two brothers. Mm-hmm. But my baby sister, I got more of a good bond, bond, bond with her than I have with my twin sisters. Yeah. Okay, I see. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And how. He, he it's just like I'll be like, what the heck? But he taught me how to how you handle other people different. 
basically. Like, you might not want to. You handle them accordingly how, like, you don't got to treat them mean, you don't got to treat them bad. You just handle them accordingly. You it ain't, hey, how you doing? Don't, you know what I mean? Just be yourself, basically. Yeah. But that bond which I have is just like it ain't going no it ain't going nowhere from from where we at now. Uh, so yeah. so if, if we we got a bond, but it ain't no connected bond. Yeah. But we we got a bond out this world, but dealing with me and him. We had a bond. Like he'd be like, <laughs> "This our bond." I'd be like, <laughs> "You bow head, no neck." <laughs> I don't want to cut. You mad? <laughs> well, no, we ain't mad. This how we talk to each oh, other. Like when he's like, he like, <laughs> like, you suck a duck's ass, motherfucking <laughs> bitch. You know what I'm saying? Then we had a bond, and I and I truly miss that. You know what I mean? And, uh, people like, the what type of bond is that? Yeah. Your brother can No, that's our bond. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I, he'd be like, don't worry about it. Uh, what you call me? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> and he say something to me. He say something to me. He called me. He called me something. I don't. Know. I don't think I can do is crack up laughing. <laughs> when I say he had me in tears, he got me. <laughs> he had me in tears. I said, "Okay, I got you. I got you. Just hold on. I got you. You already know I'm coming back with my wife. Yeah, we just yeah. th that's our 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 yeah, thing. Your you know what I mean? Yeah. Now we. I know he here. He was here. Just for a season to, to, to that man upstairs ready to call him home. Mm -hmm. And he spread all his love to each and every one of us. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm looking at, at it like, where do we start now? How we, how we can start his legacy? Mm -hmm. How can we keep his name alive? I wonder if you're doing that right now. Yes. <laughs> Talking about it. I talked you about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And to the point where, how can we get a Gary Law in Indianapolis? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? How can we do this? Because everybody can change. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Now it's got to the point where we started now. Seriously. Cause he's no longer here with us. Mm. You know what I mean? We his voice. Mm. Mm. And I'm, we gonna stand with him. And so that's been once you, how you see it now, or how you been thinking about it. Right. Personally. I wonder if I could ask, who was Gary like as he grew older, as he became teenagers? And then teenagers? And he like, used to ride bikes. We, it, we ride bikes. He used to, they used to make, what is them doing things? Uh, it'd be a board, mm. and they put a brick right there, <laughs> and they do wheelies, uh, uh, they go up the ramp, and they do, do wheelies off of it. They used to do weird stuff, and I'd be like, uh, what? Y'all gonna hurt yourself. And then they used, when I say they used to stack them up, and they used to go up on oh, the ramp real and, <laughs> and real high. You know what I mean? It, we used to do a lot of stuff. We used to go outside, play camp in the backyard, like flip play camp. And I'm like, <laughs> we, we just used to do a lot of stuff together. It's so much stuff. You know what I mean? I can't, it's just so much stuff now. To the point, we were planning a trip. We were planning a trip to, I want to say, what? I ain't about to talk to my cousin. I think it was Las Vegas, the first time, Las Vegas, first time being on the flight. Okay. We were planning a trip. And 
and we can't even plan that trip now. We we can, but the trip was planned oh, for him. Yeah, so so uh, we went we went to Ron Vegas. He was geek. He was he was book it, book it. I got it, I got it, book it, book it, book the ticket, book the ticket. He used to tell my little cousin Stephanie, little Stephanie, book it, book it, we going, we going. For real, cut, cut, we going, we going. And she 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 say something that said, because you gonna like this man that and this that this, this, this and then she's like, yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah, boogie, I'm not playing boogie for other man. <laughs> he, he, the only thing you see is no neck but <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, look at that neck. I told you you don't got no neck. They say, hey man, I wanna go. And I'm like, we gonna go, what's up? Yeah. What he's like, I don't wanna drive, we want I wanna fly if he ain't got a boogie. And that would have been the first time we ever flew. And so we're starting to get into, too, uh, what he was like when he was an adult, as you were older. He did his, he did his dirt out here on the street, yes. But he, he gave back. Mm -hmm. As I know. What do you mean by that? Can you tell me more? He used to he'd go to the store. Mm -hmm. He'd go to, go to the store by a gang of candy. Mm -hmm. Gang of candy. The kids knew when his car pulled up, he had candy. <laughs> They'll all go flying out the house. You want to go get candy. Mm -hmm. And then he, 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 he came back. Like as a dog, when I had when, when my each one of us had our kids, yeah, he brought big bags of baby clothes to us. Oh, yeah. Each one of us, our first child, yeah, he's <laughs> dead on helping with the first one. <laughs> <laughs> that if you have any more, you on your own. So he brought big bags of clothes to us. When I say he had everything you need in that bag. He had pamphlets, he had bottles, he had the uh, the, uh, the baby woman, he had the uh the way he put the dirty diapers in. He when I say he had everything in that bag, he had everything in that bag. Yeah. Each one of us, uh, you know what I mean? Cause we, it was, we we had kids in different years. He brought out big bags. He used to come. Uh, I, I, I be like, oh, how you get there? He's like, shoot. Somebody asked me, did I want to buy it? I, I, I asked him how much they want. And then I give him money for it. Mm -hmm. But other than that, that he, 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 he kept us, he, he kept us in touch. He kept us up to date. Yeah. When, my, when we was behind, he, he kept us up to date on clothes, shoes, Everything we, what we needed, what we needed. He, he he took care of. He when I say he was a big help to my mama and my daddy, he was a big help. And that gets on the maybe the next kind of topic because I was going to ask who you thought some of his best qualities were. And it sounds like that being able to take care of each one of them. Yeah. What other qualities would you say are some of Gary's best qualities? Just the things you just how. I, he embraced my mom and embraced my dad, my, my father. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, when my mom or my daddy did have it, he, he stepped, he stepped up as a big brother and helped my mom. He took a lot off. He took a lot off my mom and my father' hands and to help six siblings. And then when my brother got up in his age, he did the same thing with my older brother. Six. But he, they really helped. Six. And I say help. Six. Help. I guess you're taking that dog down. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, no worries. Yes, he, he, he really helped out. Yeah. Like, he did, he paid for my mother's truck. July, uh, they went out of town for 4th of July last year. No, 2023. He paid for my, he paid for my mother whole trip. Her clothes, 
made sure she paid for our whole trip. Wow. When I say the whole trip, paid for the whole trip. Yeah. He was there and told my mama to have a good time. My mama about didn't want to go. He like, uh uh-uh, uh, you going. I got you. My mama went shopping. He he was right there with my mama. He put you on. Get it, get everything what you need. When I say he bought he he paid my mama a whole trip, he paid for my mama a whole trip. And that put a smile on her face from ear to ear. From ear to ear. Ear to ear. And I know we've talked about some of them already, but are there any other funny stories that we didn't talk about that you really wanted to? Oh man! Oh my God! Her and my oh, my next my oldest daughter she in the bathroom. No, no. Look, remember that day? <laughs> remember that day we were sitting in the car and um, you and Gary uh, was outside of the car and y'all was talking. We actually got it out. With that dog, <laughs> what the hell happened? He's trying to figure out. He's trying to figure out. So you see, that's me. He knew he comes in. <laughs> 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 and then he said they both fighting on the front seat, on the passenger seat. Yeah. I said, now I want to know how both of y'all going to spit up when I say the dog just came out of nowhere and both of them just ran to the other. It was so funny. You know, it was funny at the time, but as when after after he like, oh hell yeah, nah. Who called me said, get this goddamn dog. Dog made my leg do the hook up. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, man, what the heck? Every time I went out say. So, uh, he was just fun to be around. Honestly, he was real fun to be around. To know, he just got to know. We had our little ups and downs. We all had our ups and downs. But... We could stay mad at each other as long as it's in 15, 20 seconds. No matter, no matter what. Because he'll come in and be like, well, the other man's girl, you know, I still love him. And that, <laughs> I'd be like, what? <laughs> and you can't even do nothing but laugh. Yeah. So it's like, He said, want to get out? And then, but it's like, just say, if you, if her and him have words, how they bond is, it'd be like, like my cousin Ashley. Ashley, you know I still love your bald headed ass. And that I'm just saying it this all type of things. Yeah, yeah. He'll just come out the blue. <laughs> out the blue and be like, What the hell? What the heck wrong? What? Gary, shut up. Dang. He like, you remember when I said I was gonna uh, and, 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 uh, and I'm like, man, this boy is crazy. It just it just it was never a door moment. Yeah. I, and I miss that about him. It's never a dog moment. When you see me, I one time, sometime I just see myself. I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about the good time, mm-hmm. and then here you, here it go right here. Yeah. Like dang, it hits me all the way. Like dang, like today it hit me. I remember. I find myself breaking down sometimes. Be like, why you need me? And I see myself saying that. Why you leave me? Why, why would you leave me here? Why? Why you leave me? Was I not fun? Mm. Right here with me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, all those stories. I be having. I when I say, 
yes. We got I got a gang of stories. It can go on and on and on. On and on and on. Here comes my auntie a cook. It was so good. My auntie was cook her her food, her place she be selling. We call her a big big step. Okay. Big step. Mm -hmm. She'll cook her food. We know what time she he coming. He, he coming. He be over all day. He going back and forth down the street, down uh, over my auntie house, over my mama house, over the other people house. But when she cooking, we know he coming back over there. He going back and forth. But when he, we already know. He be here about 2 o'clock in the morning. He'll be here. Yeah. And when he come, he play his big. You know when he here. Uh, yeah. He'll play that, <laughs> turn that radio all the way up. Yeah. And we be like, now we got, they be like, we got neighbors. And when I say, yeah, you'll know when he's there. You know when he outside. Because he got that radio all the way up. What you know about this? What y'all know about this song? <laughs> And I was like, now what do you know about this song? He's like, man, you don't know nothing about this song. Then he'll go to my mama and be like, Mom, what you know about this song? Here my mom be like, Yeah, y'all turn too long to that song. What you know about this song? And it'd be it be boy, he'll turn the songs to some slow music and then we'll turn him on to some slow music and then it be so I, I, I reckon my mama played years ago when we was coming up as kids and we cleaning up and uh mm -hmm. stuff my mama plans what she be what she play some Linda Jones. Um uh, mm -hmm. that was her uh I forgot the name of the record. And I ain't hear the song in a long time. I ain't hear the song in a long time. He came up we sitting on up on the porch. He, he uh, my, my mama and my auntie a big step. Uh, we sit, we sit up on the porch, and uh, he'll turn it up. He pull up, turn it up, and get out the car. Tell me what you know about this big step, Mama. Y'all know nothing about this. Uh, then he be like, "What y'all know about this? Y'all know nothing about this." Gary, you done know this way before your time. And then they get to talking. And then he he'll be like. Yeah, y'all know nothing about this. <laughs> and then get to doing, I'm like, man, this man is crazy. I said, you need to sit your butt down. You need to sit down. You probably can walk. Because <laughs> he, I want to say, what year was that? Dang, what's the thing? I want to say, in 90, no, 198, 199, I want to say early part, early, early part of 2000. Mm -hmm. Or I want to say late 99. Or somewhere in between there. He was, uh. Go, lay down. Something was dealing with his knees. He was in a uh, car accident, or the police ran him over. One of them. One of, one of them. And they messed his leg up. So he had a limp. So when I get my be having a side nerve problem. And I'll be limping. He'd be like, uh, they be like, stop, why are you limping? And then he'll be like, Missy, why are you limping? Same reason you limping. Why are you limping? He like, my leg hurt. He had a little limp to him. He'd be like, you know what I mean? Limp to him. And then I'd be like, man, the man probably can run. And then when I was looking at the radio, I said, y'all call that running. I ain't running. Not like you used to be. Uh, not like you used to be. Not like you used to be. Lay down, Keith. Not like he used to be, cause he used to run. He used to play football. Uh -huh. Coming up, yeah. He used to play football. Okay. Yes, he used to play football in high school. You know what I mean? He yeah. he had a scholarship. Yeah. You know what I mean? He used to play football. He used to wrestle. Uh, we play card games. You know, one other question I have. We go on, on with it, but because uh, I know you guys, you got so much, and I'm, I'm here for it. But uh, one thing I was wondering too, based on what you said, is what's one thing you wish people out there, people in Indianapolis, that they understood about Gary 
that they may not know if they just see, you know, what the news reported on the shooting or other stuff like that uh, in the news about his death. What's something they may not know about here that you wish people got, that people understood about in the news? Let's come back to that question. Yes, let's come back to that question. Okay. Oh, wait, let me calm down. Yeah. Okay. Who Gary was? He was him. Mm -hmm. And he turned all the way around. He did a whole 360. And he changed all the way around the girl. He ain't, he, he ain't been in prison ever since 2000. Oh, hold on. He ain't been in prison ever. So he turned all the way around. But what I don't understand about the public, mm. why use his criminal background against him? Mm. Why is that what they really focus on? Why is they focus on that? Mm. What what y'all think? A person can't change? Mm. Mm. That's all my stuff thing. You, told me. you know what I mean? He, he mm. changed for he changed for the better. Mm. I put the word at the time they might look at it as oh he this he that he but he changed that all the way around. When I say he he some people call it a 360. Mm -hmm. My cousin told me this. Doug Curl. He said some people I said that's the 360 cuz he like nah because I ain't no 360, because 360, when you turn around. Is it 180? With a 360, yeah. when you always, when you flip, you always flipping in a something different direction, or something he was saying to me. I, hold on, let me get it right. But 180, when you flip, and you flip in the one, you, you doing a 180, basically. Yeah. And I'm like, what? Do, and then I'm like, what do you mean by that? He's like, what you think about it? Then come call me and ask me. Just call me back and tell me. And to this day, I'm trying to really figure it out. What do you mean? Hold on. Now, why? Why you right here? You get 360. He's like 360. You. I think he means, and, and you can correct me if I'm wrong. 360 would be you go back to where you started. Why? 180 means. You You're in the opposite, opposite direction. direction. Yeah. And basically, okay, now, and, and Is basically, that what you mean? That, like that, he turned things around 180. Yes, he's like, he, he said uh, 360 when you do, let's say, he do, you do a flip. He said, just like they do, you do a flip mm -hmm. and you end back in the same spot. Yeah. But he ain't end back up in the same spot. Yeah. He did a 180. Mm hmm. So he became a better person. A better person. He and he changed around. everything. He changed everything around. Wow. And to this day, I'll be looking at him like, huh? Do you mean, th I'm still thinking, do you mean 360? <laughs> do you, why, where do you keep on saying 180? Yeah. But, you know what I mean? You said the same thing what he said. So, okay, I feel you where you're coming from. Okay. Yeah, he did, a, he did a 180. And that's what the public doesn't know. They that's what the public that. don't know. Yeah, and then to this day, I was like, okay, I understand. Now, when I call him tonight, I'm like, okay, I had an interview about Gary, <laughs> and you was correct when you said Gary, Gary, Gary. When you said when I said Gary did his whole 360, he changed around. He's like, and yes, you was right when you said Dougie. Please put his name in there. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Dougie Harrell. Dougie, Dougie Harrell. Junior. Dougie Harrell Jr. Got it. Yes. Got you it. was correct. When I said him to Harry did a 360, you you like, nah, cuz he ain't do a 360. Cause 360, you you flip it, <laughs> stay in the same place. He did a 180 where he changed it around. What does that 180 look like? What if he changed for the better? About, he used to fight a lot. What about when he changed for the better? The better? Where did he turn around? Where he turned around? He, he, when he gave all that up, he came involved with the, with his niece, nieces and little cousins. Mm -hmm. He got back involved with family more? With family more. Yeah. And, and he gave a lot. When I say he gave a lot up, he gave a lot up. He gave a lot up. But other than that, you know what I mean? We we all did did stuff in the streets. Mm -hmm. But also, because you changed on me, you got the right to take my life mm -hmm. from me. And then use my criminal background against me. Right. I wonder, what do you think needs to happen, like to change in Indianapolis, to make it safe to exist and keep what happened to Gary from happening to anybody else? We were talking about Gary Law earlier and things like that. So, when a person back is turned, yeah, you do not shoot. Mm -hmm. You do not shoot when a person back is turned. When a person got mental problems, it should be a team where you could call. You shouldn't send people with police with guns. Guns, because sometimes police might be scared too. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. But police also got protocols too. Yeah. And by you being on the force, dealing with my brother, by you being on the force for 28 years, You've been a veteran for 28 years. Mm -hmm. You knew the protocols. Yeah. There's no excuse for shooting them in the back. How y'all got the video? Mm -hmm. Y'all got him getting out the car. Yeah. You got him talking to you, mm -hmm. talking to the officer. Um, uh, wherever was that shade? Uh, the lady ran out in front of me. Whatever he said. Mm -hmm. But you see him walk back to his car. His door wasn't shut. His leg was up like this, and his body was up like this. He's like, let me call my mother. Mm -hmm. You hear this on the video. Yeah. Real good. Yeah. The court, you this close to me as I'm sitting down in my car, and mm -hmm. you standing up. Mm -hmm. yeah. You could have did anything. You could have, you could have did anything. Mm -hmm. Went on a call, back up, while you talking, or anything before you even got out your car. You could have called back up. Mm -hmm. It's a way you could have handled that situation. Yeah. But now what you did was you got out your car, like where are you going? Wherever, wherever he was standing, uh, I'm dealing with the video. I'm dealing with the video. Mm -hmm. He sat back down. You steady talking to him as he's sitting down. Yeah. When, when he got up to run and turn that corner, you could have tased him and tased him. You could have shot him in his leg. Could have done anything else. You could have did anything but shot him in his back. Yeah. And that's where I have questions at. And on your command, as you said, stop, you shoot. Drop it, you shoot. What what was the cause of that? I, I'm, I'm, I want to know what was the cause of y'all high fiving each other at the end, mm -hmm. saying good job. Yeah. What was the cause of that? I got plenty of answers for you, mm -hmm. and I, I, I'm not stopping till I get my answers. Yeah. I want that raw version released. The raw, I, I want that. I'm pushing for that yeah. to get that raw version released. So, what was the cost of it? Yeah. I'd rather see my brother in prison 
You see my brother in, in, in the six feet deep in the right. Mm -hmm. And so if I'm understanding, you're saying uh, that should never happen. That it should never happen. happen. If somebody's running away, they're no threat. You should have called back up right then and there. And they need other If you, if anything, you should have called back up right then and there. But other than that, you, you ain't called for backup right then and there. Your video, your, your camera's still going. Yeah. That, that's the only thing I'm, I'm trying to really fix my head around. When did you call back up? Mm -hmm. After you shot him? That's my king up there. That's where I'm at. Which makes no sense. Yeah. And another thing is, how is that self-defense? Mm -hmm. Right. How am I, how he, how, that's the same thing with me. How am I a threat to you when my back is turned mm -hmm. to you? When you can answer that question for me, for, when they can answer that question for me, I can understand a logical reason. Mm -hmm. How am I a threat to you when my back is turned to you? Because mm -hmm. it doesn't make sense. I, I'm still waiting on that answer. I've been waiting on Chief Taylor to tell me. Mm -hmm. Now I'm waiting on what's this uh, other chief name who was in the building? The new chief. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He tell us, uh, oh, we'll know something on this day. It's up to the prosecutor. I thought it'd take a team to prosecute, right? Yeah, the prosecutor uh filed the charges, right? Well who paid who's signing up on his checks? Why is he still getting paid? He shouldn't be getting paid. He should. What? Why is he? He on vacation still, right to this day. It been eight months. Eight months and what's the name? Thirsty. Thirsty. Might be choosing way. Eight months and four days. He's still on vacation. I just want to know when are we going to get justice? They ain't telling us nothing. I hope we can get some good news. I, I'm trying to get my car fixed too, but I can keep going to go to these meetings and go downtown <laughs> because I, I'm telling you, my name is Melissa Williams. Mm -hmm. the, my family called me Missy. Mm -hmm. I'm on fire. Mm -hmm. And I'm not giving up. I ain't going to go down there disrespecting. Absolutely. I'm not going to go down there disrespecting, but I'm going to speak my mind. Yeah. How do you want people who read the article on this interview when it comes out, how do you want them to remember Gary? I Karen Cahorde, open minded. Yeah. He's very open minded. He's very open minded. Spoke his mind. Speaking he, he an outspoken person. Okay. <coughs> um, you read this article. Put it in the mind, it could be one of your family members. Mm -hmm. It could be one of your sisters. It could have been your sister, your brother, your father. Your cousin, your grandmother, your grandfather, any your your one of your your, your best friend, a person you grew up with, it could have been one of them. Be mindful. You know what I mean? It, it death ain't easy. Grief ain't grieving ain't it ain't. It, everybody be like, uh, you still grieving? Yes. 
And I, I never heard that it's a certain time or a certain expiration date on grief. I'm a grief. We going to grieve. We not going to give up. We going to be his voice. We going to stand with him. We going to stand on his name. And we going to get justice. Mm -hmm. They might not give it to us, but long I keep long we keep getting on our knees praying, asking God to give us strength. Mm -hmm. That's one person y'all can't fight, and that's that man upstairs, baby. Hey, I'm for real, man. Yeah. He gonna help us do this. But other than that. We we gonna stand firm. 